Welcome back, everybody, once again to Monumenta. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, hanging out with our good pal Dimitri. Once again, I'm back here to see if he'll give us any clues regarding this here riddle. Where water is poor is rare as gold, so that makes me think somewhere where we're not going to find water, so somewhere hot, somewhere with lots of lava. It also makes me think of, like, deserts. So whenever I first read this, I thought maybe it's in Region 2. Of course, Region 2 is not released yet. And songs of wishes granted told. I have no idea what that refers to. Crystallized essence to one shall quiver. For now I lie within the river. Pretty much the only line that makes sense to me is the first one. <laughs> oh no, prototype was blown up by a creeper. Poor, poor prototype. But at least he's just a prototype, right? That means that they can fix him. Oh wait, what? What? Oh. Okay. We got some potions of protection. Did he say something there? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither, God. I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, but my best guess is in Region 2 somewhere, and that's where the quest will pick up again. We had another quest that we started last episode. Last episode was just... It was... Ah, forgot about the stupid quest compass. I guess it's not stupid. It's, it's very, very helpful. But I still forgot about it. Hello there, Mr. Cheese. Um, and that guy, Z Zwerbu. Z <laughs> Zwerbu. Um... But yeah, I forgot about the quest compass. <laughs> you have no idea how long I spent looking for that, too. That's why I was so very frustrated. Because the solution was simple, and I just was not was not thinking clearly. You know what? I need to buy... Oh, I already had, I already had that. I need to buy some arrows, I think. I have a chicken farm, but uh, I just I haven't really been upkeeping it. So I, I just hatched some eggs right now. Uh, let's see here. We want just some basic arrows there, guy. How much can I get for that? Okay, that's 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 more than enough, I think. That should pull this over for quite a while. Um, so yeah, we need to... First of all, do that. Uh, but we need to head to this serpentine place, whatever the heck it's called. Let's go ahead and store all of this junk. And you. And we'll keep the feather of the hawk on us. I, again, I may need to go back to the Hawk Village to grab the book in order to actually uh, advance things, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Yeah, so it's still it's still pointing me in the direction of the Hawk Village. Um, whoa, wait, what? I talked to Eowyn and accept the quest to find his brother. I'm so confused now. Oh, you can cycle through objectives for quests. Well, that's well, that's helpful. Where is this pointing us exactly? I'm going to go ahead and teleport too far since that'll put us in the middle of the map and we'll have a better sense of exactly where we're heading. I know it said kind of across the way from... I think I'm, I might know which ruins it's talking about, actually. Um, but just to be safe, we will use our compass. Uh, it's pointing us in that direction. Yeah, it said it was across the river from, from near, so... You know, that riddle did, did mention a river. And there's the kind of main river going through everything, so I wonder... I mean, there's, there's nowhere where water is scarce. How, how can you have a place where there's no water, but also a river at the same time? A river of lava? Would make the most sense to me. Or just an old riverbed that's been dried up, but uh, yeah, let's let's go let's go find this place, shall we? Can I enter this place yet? Can I go into the overgrown laboratory? Uh, nope, nope. I I don't know. It it may be tied to a quest, or it maybe you have to discover a certain number of the brown core places. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm 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 guessing that the ruins we're heading to are the ruins kind of up on the plateau. Uh over in this direction. Yeah, that's my best guess. It does seem to be pointing us in this direction, so maybe we can find find the stuff here. I know I've been here before. Hello everybody. 
And I kind of remember there being creeper spawners up on top of these buildings. Uh, yep, there's one right, right, right now. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and deal with that, just so we don't have any surprise creepers dropping down on us. And same thing over here. Hey, you want to help me out there, guy? Thank you. I do appreciate it. I'm not sure where the chest is going to be here. My guess is maybe up on top of one of the buildings, or maybe they added to this dungeon. Um, and I'm just not aware of it. I had a close call the other day. I, I wasn't recording at the time. But a very close call where a creeper pretty much blew up inside of me. I was in the anthill. And... Yeah, that was, that was, that was, I took me down to like one heart, and there were lots of um, archers around too. Let's see, can we do that? And then maybe take care of both of them at the same time. Two for one special. Also, you might notice I am no longer utilizing the resource pack. It just, uh, again, Optifine does not work well. And it was also kind of confusing. There's that, and that. Oh, gosh, I thought I killed you. How did I not kill you? Well, you're dead now, so I guess that's what matters. Uh, let's first of all disable the creeper spawners. Oh, I thought, I thought it was only three blocks. But it is more than three blocks. And you. And you. And go ahead and blow up there, guy. Uh, I have been noticing small amounts of lag here and there, or just delay, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna grab the book this time. I guess that's, that's it, right? I do believe so. We should probably finish taking out... Oh, you guys and your broken ladders, man. Why, oh why, oh why? Okay, well, he just decided to give up. Oh, gosh. Well, that was interesting. That was, once again, interesting. I don't like where I am. I don't like what's going on. I'm getting a little scared. That was, that was fun, too. Very, very fun. <laughs> I just kind of... Oh, man. I'm, I, I've kind of gotten to the point where I feel like I can't die. At least not on regular old POIs. I can still die in a dungeon, that's for sure. Um, these guys do... They, they do hit hard. Well, kind of. We got lots of silver fishies. Let's go ahead and take you out. I could have sworn there was another creeper around somewhere. And we already disabled that guy as well. Alright, let's see what, what our reward is. Uh, let's put up everything but the gunpowder, because I'd like to collect that to make it the TNTs. Hi. Hello. Nobody can reach me over here, huh? They really need to figure out a way to make some mobs that can, like, climb or something. I mean, I guess spiders do that, right? Yeah, yeah, they have spiders. That's, that's probably good enough. Okay, what does this book say, anyways? Uh, among those were the lunatics, men of Ig Igzum, uh, marked by his gifts, close to the beast, jaguar, hawk, and snake, united under the three... Soon, Talaxon built temples for two, but Ixume maybe preferred the open sky, and at night, when the full moon rose, the lunatics would dance in moonbeams for their god. Soon, the yellow call of the black root would dance with the beasts. Ixume looked down at the spirit and smiled, but the wars soon to come would change much. Soon enough, M M Mirag would sleep and be locked away as his sickness spread. Then the soul crusher would take Exume when his bearer left and the soul crusher created the beastmen. 
Okay, this is total total nonsense to me, but perhaps perhaps you got something out of it. Um, okay, so does it still say? Okay, so it's still giving me those as quest objectives. Oh, we're in the Jaguar Village now. Maybe I just wasn't doing something right the other day. Any boats around? I need a boat. Somebody, somebody show me a boat. Uh, you know, I thought that we would simply have to place the items, but maybe you have to have both of them before the quest can progress. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, poor, poor prototype. Whenever I see people caught in a death loop, I always want to go and help them. But then I don't, I don't want to ask them because, I don't know, <laughs> like I feel like that might be kind of condescending or something. But uh, I know if I were caught in a death loop, I would want somebody to come and help me out. Am I going in the right direction? I think so. All right, uh, it says, you found them both. You're really serious about this adventuring thing. Let me place the keys in their slots then and we'll see what happens. It worked. It looks like the crypt has actually opened up. I'll gather my crew and send some people inside. Would you like to do the honors and enter first? Um, absolutely, I'll meet you down there. This is so exciting. By Robbie will be so pleased. Where is... This, this is the crypt, huh? Are we prepared? I, I think we're probably prepared. Gear looks like it's still uh, still in okay shape. Um, okay. Well, I learned to never trust these kinds of things in CTM maps. There could be lapis blocks down there, and I do see lapis blocks. I also see water. But I guess we don't really have many options, do we? This looks like... Wait, wait, we're in the White Wool Dungeon. What are we doing in the White Wool Dungeon? Huh. Wex uh, Wexley. Uh, hey there, you're T TJ the Obscure, right? I just finished setting up the forward camp here. Not sure what to expect, so I wanted us to be ready. My colleagues are exploring some various entrances found around the Outer Ring. Where do they go? From what we can tell, they're tombs to important supporters. Uh, that guy, each is labeled and seems to contain some sort of puzzle. Have been able to solve any of them. Uh, Brailler and Keller seem to have some degree of success. You'll want to speak to those stationed outside each room for more details. I was put in charge of the central chamber. Anything else you'd like to know? No. No. You're th why are the chests locked? What if I need supplies, huh? Am I not part of the team? Am I, am I not your friend, guy? I opened up the dang thing for you. Okay. Exit. No, I don't think we want to exit. Look at look look at look at Team Epic though, reusing reusing dungeons. And just changing a few things here and there. It's so lazy. So lazy guys. There's there's ten. Okay. Uh hi there. Glad to see you made it down here too. I just spoke to Bairavi and she's blown away by our progress. We need to get inside that guy's tomb itself because of course he has more than one layer of security. It seems his foremost trusted generals created trials for those wishing to enter. We'll have to get through them all, I guess. What do I need to do? I've sent a few of my co-workers to, co-workers to, uh, co to check them out in more detail. Go talk to them and they should be able to help you out. Come back to me when you're done. Okay, so that's, that's going to be the final place to go. Uh, I'm guessing that the puzzles are up the staircase. And we'll have one on each end. Tomb of Arvaya the Warrior. Okay. Uh, yes, yes I am. How do you know me? How does everybody know my name? Huh? You all know me, but you won't share your things with me. Uh, yes, you're the fighter. This is the warrior tomb, so I am here. <laughs> this is a very, very straightforward, straight to the point. What am I to expect in the next room? It is a battle arena. Inside is fighter you must beat. I have bested it, but I am no bowman. I need all four challenges to enter Zanil Man's tomb. Maybe you do it. Watch out for fighter's charge. It hurts. Well, that makes me a little nervous. 
Makes me a tad nervous. I kind of want to do that one last, too, especially if, if the other ones are puzzles. Um, simply because <clears throat> puzzles are certainly not my 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 strength, <laughs> and they may they may be kind of boring or frustrating to watch. Uh, yes, uh, this place is crazy. Eh? It reminds me of the big open room inside the halls of Wind and Blood. No, it doesn't just remind me of it. It's almost identical to it because Team Epic's so lazy. Um, yeah, or yeah, maybe it's just because you know they had similar architecture because it's built by the same by the same people. Uh, only briefly, I'm not much of a fighter. I'm more of a household magic user. Nowhere near the level of the Mage Council. This little puzzle in here was right up my alley. I managed to complete it in a, a few minutes ago, but it seems we have to solve all, all four puzzles to progress. I'll never beat Arvaya in combat. Can I help? Absolutely. It's some kind of magical light system. It sends out a pattern. And I need you to repeat it. You'll need a, as good a memory as mine, or just write it down. Why didn't I think of that before? Okay, so it's a light puzzle. Um, let's see here. Play sequence. Wait, what? Okay, so we... Boom, play that one. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Can you just... Can you just keep playing the sequence over? I feel like that would make things really easy. Magenta, purple, orange. Okay, magenta, purple... Orange, white. All right, easy enough. Magenta, purple, orange, white, and then pink. Okay, magenta. Purple, orange, white, pink, and light blue. Okay, uh, magenta, purple, orange, white, pink, light blue, and green. And the next is going to be yellow. Magenta. Purple. Orange. White. Pink. Light blue. Green. Yellow. Oh, did I get it wrong? Oh, it's pink and then light blue. Gosh dang it. Oh, wait. No, it went green and then back to pink. Interesting. Okay, magenta, purple, orange, white, pink, light blue, green, pink. It's playing a song for us. Do, 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 do. This is actually a pretty cool, uh, <laughs> pretty cool puzzle. Pretty basic, but um, also pleasant, pleasant to listen to. That was a truly magical performance. Okay, so that puzzle is taken care of then. Uh, hey, you did an amazing stuff, friend. I can't wait to try and understand how this all works. And you just press the buttons and it plays the music, and you follow the lights. <clears throat> uh, Tomb of that guy, the archer. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't want to interrupt. Thanks for your help getting inside. We lost two good men retrieving the jaguar key and were terrified to go after the other two. Rest in peace, Conway and Rella. Anyway, what can I do for you? Um, I'm told there's some puzzles to solve. 
Definitely. It looks like something called uh, Kyrar or Syrar was an archer. For that guy, inside are three absurdly challenging bow shots you'll need to make. I've got neither the disp disposition nor the talent to hit them. Been trying. Hit them all and I guess you'll appease the spirit or whatever. Okay. It's like a sharpshooting challenge. Uh, can I stand? I can stand right here, right? Can't tell where our arrow ended up there. Target hit. Um. Let's see here. Can we? I guess we can hit that. Okay. And green. Um, green, and red. You have done well. Okay, do we get, do we get a reward? Do we get something? We, we did beat it, right? Uh, thank you for your steady aim. You have honored our loss and have done much for this team. Well, thank you, guy. I, I appreciate the recognition every once in a while. Antigone, uh, greetings, I assume. Yes, 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 you got it. I, that's me, that's me. Lovely to meet you, and apologies for my brusqueness earlier. I am Antigone. I'm Bairabi's Bar alchemist and demolitions expert. Before you is the tomb of what seems to be that guy's most trusted alchemist named Seltzer. Seltzer? Seltzer. Dang it, man. Oh, I hate, I hate, I mean, is this Fangrad doing all these names? Fangrad, stop it. Stop it, stop it. Inside is some sort of alchemy logic puzzle. I'm still trying to work out the details, but feel free to try it yourself. Alchemy yeah. logic puzzle. Oh, great. Mr. Cheese. Everybody's dying. Why is everybody dying? Stop dying. You guys. It makes me sad. Okay. Oh, I can jump. Usually when you're in the uh, adventure areas, things get canceled. Weigh the water. What? Uh, before you are four cauldrons, leap higher than man to gather water. Weigh each against the bite of poison to appease Selksum. Selksum? Selksum. Um, wait, what? Just jump higher than man. Is it supposed to be a parkour thing? A jump puzzle, or...? I'm... not sure about this... Poison. Poison. Nothing. Poison. Eye of the Beast. And poison. Before you are four cauldrons. Oh. Uh. I see one cauldron. Are there supposed to be bottles in here? Phoenix ash. Pixie dust. Are we supposed to? Because the the thing here has it has the um, whatever that gets called blaze powder in it. Oh come on, hit it, hit it, hit it! Alchemist blessings, a clear blue potion. Upon further inspection, it can be brewed. Okay, so we need to brew it then, and what are our options again? There's the Eye of the Beast, and Speckled Melon Slice, Demonic Dust, 
can't tell if I clicked on the right one. Okay, so put that in there. Which one do you think it's going to be? Phoenix Ash. Uh, weigh each against the bite of poison. To appease... Yeah. Okay. Maybe it would be Eye of the Beast then? I suppose... To make poison? Oh, do I really have to sit here and wait for it to brew? Gosh dang it. Oh, this is, uh, this is so very exciting. Got a potion of poison. Oh, wait, am I supposed to leave it in there? I'm not really sure. Are we supposed to like put it on the lapis thing? Wait, whoa, gosh, what happened? Hey, 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 stop. It sounds like the uh piston I have no idea if I'm even doing this right. It sounds like the piston's like over here or something. I'm getting no Do I need to throw it onto the half slabs here? Um, I can't tell where the piston's at. Huh. Okay. You know what, maybe, what if I made Poison 2 potion. Yeah, I, I feel like that's maybe what we want to do, but at the same time, like... Where, where do I even, where do I even put it, exactly? A higher than man to gather water, weigh each against the bite of poison. To appease that guy. Weigh the water. I... gosh, I don't know. I don't know where we're supposed to place the potion exactly. I mean, the piston sounds like it's right here. I would kind of assume that there's like a hopper or something that's supposed to collect it, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, do I put it into the thing here? Weigh the water. Alright, well I, I don't know, I'm gonna need some help on this one I think. This one is a little too confusing for me, but we can still go after the warrior, I suppose. Uh, did you... Yeah, any hints? I believe it has multiple aspects. First, you will need to brew a potion. That central brewing stand is primed and ready. After that, you'll have to work out what comes next. <laughs> okay, well, I figured out... I figured out the first part, guy. It's not the... Uh, not the part after that. I don't know. Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Let's let's go let's go fight the fight in the battle arena. Since this video is probably getting to be a little a little long anyways. Um Let's see here. Did he have anything else to offer? No, doesn't look like it. I think this is going to be the first boss on Monumenta that I've ever fought. 
Uh, do, do, do. How do we get into the arena? I'm guessing we just go down? Is there anything else around the perimeter? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we got those ready. We can go ahead and take this potion of regen, I think, before we actually enter the arena. Um, actually, let's hold off on that. Oh, gosh. Really? Is that to, uh... I'm not sure... I'm not sure what's going on right here. Does he just not like it whenever I hit him with arrows? I have no idea. It seems to be responding just fine. You fight with the strength of that that person. Okay. I mean, we can leave. Can I leave? Oh, there's barrier blocks there. Gosh dang it! I I guess we won. That seemed a little that seemed a little easy. He did hit hard, but avoiding hits was was pretty simple. Uh, I'm guessing that functions more as a kind of introduction to... to boss fights on Monumenta. Uh, okay. Uh, you do very well. I explore Arena deeply for more information. Maybe new weapons too. Thanks. Oh wait, there's weapons there? Is there more to the arena? Did something open up? I don't know, that doesn't look like it. Um, okay. Well. I didn't notice there's little symbols, too. Yeah, we have to figure out this one, but I'm really kind of at a loss as far as how to... How to do it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe, um, am I supposed to, like, put poison? Because it says, ancient water jug, it says to weigh it against the bite of poison. So it's almost as though I'm supposed to maybe put the poison potions in there? Well, that seemed weird. Um, oh, 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 come on, you can, you can press that button, guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's there's cauldrons here. I didn't even notice these cauldrons. Wait, what? Oh wait, no, the redstone's not going to do anything. Gosh dang it! All right, well, I I, I don't know. I don't know. So I guess we're just going to have to call the episode here. Um, but I do, I do feel like we made, we actually made some progress this episode, actually accomplished some stuff. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Hey.